Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today's tutorial is for pattern number 542. This is the baby's first Christmas afghan. This is also known as Jacob's Ladder. Now I make mine just a touch differently. Uh, not too much different, but just a couple things I do a little different. Now this afghan is made using double crochet and then you chain eight and then work your double crochet and when you're all finished you twist and loop these up. Now when I do my chain eight loop I twist each loop and what happens is that makes it so there's no gaps on either side and since this is for a baby I wanted this nice and tight and snug. It has a beautiful double crochet pico border on it so I think you're going to enjoy making this. I use soft pinks, white, and green for a soft baby feel for Christmas instead of the bolder colors. Now you can use any color you choose. Now if you wanted to make a larger afghan instead of the baby afghan, I do have the multiple right on the instructions for future reference. You would use a stitch multiple of seven plus nine. So you would chain seven, then seven more, seven more until you get it the length you want or the width you want, and then you would add nine more chains. So that's how you determine your multiple. So for this project today, you're going to need two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver in the color number 311 white. You're going to need one skein of number 373 petal pink. And then you will need one skein of 520 minty. So just beautiful colors for this afghan. You're also going to need, I use the Susan Bates inline hooks and this is a size I9 or 5 millimeter hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get started on this adorable baby afghan. To begin our baby blanket, we're going to start and chain 100. And I'm starting with the petal pink. Now if you decide to use different colors, then start with whatever color you want to be first on your afghan. And I do suggest you do not start with white because that's the color we're going to use for the border. So we're going to go ahead, I already attached my yarn to my hook so I have a loop. Now you can use whatever method you choose to join your yarn on your hook. I just double knotted. And to make a chain you're going to take your yarn over your hook and pull it through the loop on your hook. That's your first chain. So yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop, that's two. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop, that's three. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop, that's four. Continue in that manner until you have a total of 100 chains. And I'll be right back and we'll start row one. I have my 100 chains made, so this is what your chain should look like, 100 chains. So we're going to start row one and we're going to begin by double crocheting in the fourth chain from hook. So you start right at your hook. This does not count as a chain. We're going to skip one, two, three chain. We're going to yarn over the hook and insert into that fourth chain from hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made a double crochet. So the three skip chain that we made counts as our first double crochet. This counts as the second. We're going to work a double crochet in each of the next five chain. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain and work a double crochet. 
yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and work a double crochet. We have our beginning chain three, and we have one, two, three, four, five double crochet, and we need one more. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain, and work a double crochet. So you should have a total of seven stitches. Your beginning chain three counts as one, then two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochet. We're going to begin our repeat. This is a very simple pattern. This is easy for beginners and it's fun for experienced crocheters because it's something that I call a TV pattern. You can just sit and work on it while you're watching TV. You don't have to think about the pattern. It's just a simple repeat. So this is the beginning of the repeat. We're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just grab that chain eight with your fingers. You're going to pull it back. You're going to yarn over the hook and you're going to go in the very next chain. This is the last double crochet you made. You're going to go right into that next chain and you're going to work a double crochet. Now we're going to work six more double crochet. We're going to work one double crochet in each of the next six chain. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and work a double crochet. And that is the end of your repeat. You should have your chain eight is the start of the repeat. And then you will work one double crochet in each of the next seven chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're just going to repeat that across to the end. So when you're working this pattern, you do not skip any chains on the foundation chain. You work your seven double crochet you chain eight and then you work seven double crochet immediately after that chain eight. No skipping chains on that foundation chain. So let me show you one more time. This is the start of the repeat. We're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to grab that chain eight and you're just going to try to pull it out of the way yarn over the hook. You're going to insert into that very next chain. So this is where your last double crochet was worked. You're going to go right into that very next chain and work your first double crochet of seven. So there's one. Yarn over the hook. Insert into that next chain. Work a double crochet. That's two. Yarn over the hook. Insert into the next chain work a double crochet. That's three. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain and work a double crochet. That's four. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. That's five. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. That's six and yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and work a double crochet, and that is seven, and that is the end of the repeat. And you'll see how your chain stitches just form that loop, 
and it will be curved. It will start curving and doing whatever it wants to do because of this chain eight. And that all will be corrected when we get to the end of the afghan. Then we're going to work these loops up. So repeat that across your chain. Again, you're going to, the start of the repeat will be chain eight and then work one double crochet in each of the next seven chain. And you do not skip any chains on the foundation row. You just immediately start that next double crochet after you do that chain eight. So work that across and I'll meet you at the end of row one. So I'm over to the end of row one and this is what your work should look like. You should have, let me start at the beginning, you should have your seven double crochet, a chain eight, seven double crochet, chain eight, seven double crochet, chain eight, and you should have worked that all the way across your chain to the end. Now, with this pattern, we're using three colors. So you can carry this yarn up on the ends and, and just change your color and let this yarn go up through the sides, up on the edges of the side, or you can choose to fasten off. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to choose to fasten off because when you're working with three skeins of yarn and you're turning this work all the time, it can tend to get twisted up, for me at least. So I'm going to just fasten off my work. Now if you did not want to fasten off your work, I'm going to grab my next color, which would be white. And I'm just going to show you how to pull that new color through. So I have my white. Let me just zoom up a little bit more. So before you do the last part of your stitch, now if you're going to fasten off, you would just leave a little bit of a length so you can get that yarn needle on there to weave that through. And then you would cut it. So if you do not want to fasten off, then when you get to the last part of your double crochet, you would yarn over, insert into that last chain, yarn over, pull it through the chain, yarn over and pull it through two loops and then you would stop with the color you're using. You would take your new color and you would leave about a 3-4 inch length, just a nice length that you can weave that first end in and then you're going to yarn over the hook and pull that new color through. And you can see how that new color starts up here and it finishes that last stitch with the color that you used for that row. And then you can just tighten that up a little bit. And then you would chain three to turn. One, two, three, and then you would turn your work. Now because I'm going to fasten off, I'm just going to go ahead and finish that stitch. I'm going to grab my scissors, cut my yarn, fasten off, and I'll be right back to start row two. So I fastened off my work and this is the right side of our work and it's the end of row one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn my work. This will be the wrong side and I'm going to insert my hook right under the top two strands of that first double crochet stitch. So just insert your hook under those top two loops. You're going to grab your next color, which I'm using white, and I'm going to leave about a three inch length. I'm just going to grab that new color of yarn with my hook and just pull it right through the top of that stitch. I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now this beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next six double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that next stitch under the top two strands of yarn, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top two strands of that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that next stitch, and work a double crochet. 
Yeah. I'm so sorry about my squeaky chair. I think I need a new one. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top of the next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. So you should have a total of seven stitches. The chain three counting as the first, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when you're working this pattern, it'll always be a group of seven double crochet with a chain eight in between. And you, it's a, it's a kind of no-brainer pattern because you don't even have to count. You just work in each double crochet across to that chain eight space, and then you know to stop because here's your last double crochet, and then you chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're just going to grab that chain eight and pull it back out of your way. And then you're going to skip this chain eight below it, and you're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert into that next double crochet, which is the first double crochet of that seven double crochet group, and work a double crochet. And I'm sorry I forgot to say that when you start your chain eight, that is the start of the repeat. So the start of the repeat, you would chain eight, skip that chain eight space below it, and work one double crochet in each double crochet across to the next chain eight space. So you would be working a total of seven double crochet across. There's three, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet, that's four, yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet, that's five, yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet, that's six, yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that last double crochet of that group of seven, and work a double crochet. So you should have a total of seven double crochet. Two, four, six, and seven. And that's the end of your repeat. And again, this may lay funny. It's going to be kind of awkward because the more you work, the chain will get bigger. Now row two is the repeat row. There's only one repeat row. All you're doing is changing colors every row, alternating with three different colors. So again, you're going to start your repeat, you're going to chain eight, you're going to skip this chain eight space, and then work one double crochet in each of the next seven double crochet. You're going to chain eight, that starts the repeat, you're going to skip the next chain eight space, and you're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven double crochet, and you're going to continue that across to the end of the row, and I will meet you at the end of row two. So I'm at the end of row two, and I stop before I work my last stitch. I worked in the last double crochet, and then you can see that we end the row with a chain three from the previous row. So this counts as our ending double crochet. So what you're going to do is yarn over the hook and insert your hook into the top of that chain three. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the top of that chain three. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two. You just worked a double crochet into that ending chain three right in the top. Now for row three, if you're carrying your yarn up the side, then you would have stopped here. So I'm back at the end of row two, and as with anything, I was videotaping and didn't realize my card was full, so I lost part of the video, already fastened off, and I didn't want to cut this and unravel it and do it again because I was already at the end and I didn't want to knot, so I'm just going to 
repeat when you get over to the end of the row you have your choice of fastening off which I do or before you pull that last loop through you work that double crochet and you, when you get down to your last two loops then you would pull that new color through and start your next row you would turn and start your next row so I'm sorry that I um, didn't get that on film so we're going to go ahead and start row three row three is our third color so I'm just going to turn my work and I'm going to grab my minty um, again I leave about a three inch length just long enough that I can get that yarn needle and maneuver it to weave in my ends I'm just going to go right up underneath these top two strands of that stitch that first double crochet stitch and I'm going to pull that new color through we're going to do the same thing that we did in row two. We're going to chain three for our first double crochet. And if you look, your chain three will line right up with that first stitch. We're just going to double crochet in each double crochet across to that next chain eight space. So yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that next double crochet, and work a double crochet yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. We have two stitches to go. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. So basically, you're just repeating row two. You're going to work one double crochet into each double crochet across to that chain eight space, and then we're going to chain eight, and this starts your repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to skip this chain eight space, yarn over the hook, insert into that next double crochet, and work a double crochet. And we're going to go ahead and work in each double crochet across to that next chain eight space. So I'm just going to go ahead and work my double crochet across those seven stitches. And you should always have seven double crochet in between each chain eight space across your row. There's four. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch. There's five, six, and I'm in my last double crochet, and seven and then we have our chain eight. So that's the repeat. You're doing exactly what you did in row two. Let me get this straightened out. So go ahead, you're going to chain eight, skip that chain eight space below, and then work one double crochet in each of the seven double crochet between those chain eight spaces. Work that across your row, and I'll be back at the end of row three. So I'm over to the end of row three and I'm just going to go ahead and change colors like I'm not fastening off. Now if you were going to fasten off you would make your last double crochet into the top of that ending chain three here. You go into the top of that chain and then you would clip off and leave about three to four inches. If you want to carry your yarn up the side whoops, you're going to yarn over the hook, insert it into the top of the chain three, yarn over, pull it through that top of that chain, yarn over, pull it through two loops, you made half of your double crochet, and then you're going to grab your pink, leave about three to four inch length, and then just grab that yarn with your hook and pull it through and you can see how your last stitch ends perfectly where the top is the same color and then you're ready to chain three to start the next row. So to work the rest of this afghan 
you'll notice that it's going to look pointed, but that is okay. That's how it's supposed to look. You'll see it and it'll just, it'll look like your chains are getting bigger, but they're not. They're all are going to be chain eights and it is going to look like it's curving and pointing and that's normal. That will all correct itself when we weave the loops up the afghan. So to finish the afghan with the stitch pattern, you're going to repeat row two and you're just going to alternate your colors pink white and minty so to finish the afghan you're going to work it up and then the last row will be worked after we weave in the loops so repeat row two alternating pink white and minty until you have a total of 63 rows so when you get back to the end of row 63, I'll be back and then we'll weave in our loops. So I have my 63 rows made. And if you look at your afghan, you are going to notice that row one is tight and your work curves a little bit. That is the way I do it. That's going to be normal. And that will correct itself as we weave these loops up the afghan. The top will be wider and I'm trying to get this in the picture. I can't show the whole thing, but this is what it looks like. I'm trying to get as much in the photograph. Let me zoom out just a little bit more. So this is what it's gonna look like before we weave the loops up. The top will be wider than the bottom because you have this large space in here. So it kind of got larger where the bottom row is tied up but that's the way I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start weaving our loops up. So let me get over here on the end. I'm going to go ahead and start right on the edge. Excuse all my ends. So let me zoom out just a little bit more. You're going to take that first loop in row one and you're going to take it and you're going to take your fingers and you're going to twist it backwards. You're going to twist it away from you and then to the right. So you're actually forming like a figure eight. So again, you're going to take that loop and you're going to turn it backwards. You're going to turn it that way to the back and to the right. And it forms that loop. You're, you're twisting it. You're going to take the next loop and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take it and twist it. And then you're going to pull it through that first loop. I'm going to take the next loop. I'm going to twist it back and to the right. And I'm just twisting it. And I like to twist them because it helps pull that together. And then you're just going to take the back loop and pull it through the center of the front loop. And you can see how our loops are forming up the blanket. I'm going to show you a couple more times. I have, I hope my hands aren't in the way. We have our loop here. We're going to take the next loop behind it. You're going to just take your fingers and twist it to the back and to the right until you have that twist. You're going to just pull it right through the center of the loop in front, and then you're going to pull up. And we're just going to continue doing that up the afghan. So grab your next loop, take it, twist it to the back and to the right, pull those stitches together, and then pull it right through the center of the loop in front. My hands are getting in the way. I'm not sure how to do it any other way. Let me show you one more time. This loop is already twisted. You're going to go to the one behind. Take your loop, turn it back and to the right so you have it twisted and it pulls those stitches together. And then you're going to take the back loop and pull it right through the center of the front loop and then you're going to pull up and you're just going to continue doing that all the way to the top of your afghan 
when you get this one done you're going to come back and you're going to do each chain eight loop up each section until you get them all weaved in so I'm going to go ahead and start weaving in all my loops and I'll be back when I'm finished I'm back and if you look at my afghan you can see I have all my chain eight loops weaved up now I know I do it a little different than everyone else because most people don't twist every loop but if you look at this afghan you can see there's no gaps and that's why I twist each loop now this is a baby afghan so I don't want holes in it I don't want like those little tiny baby fingers getting stuck in holes and things like that so when you twist each loop it's going to tighten this up and it's going to make it secure and there's not going to be any gaps in those loops beside those loops so that's why I twist it so now we're getting ready to do our final row our last row of row 64 so I'm just going to go up to the top of my afghan let me zoom in and I'm, I started with the petal pink down here. This is our first row with the pink, and I'm going to end with pink. So whatever your first color is, is the color we're going to end with. My yarn here, I'm gonna leave about a three to four inch length. I inserted my hook. We're going to go right into this beginning stitch, go right under those two loops of that first stitch. And we're just going to pull that new color through. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to work one double crochet in each double crochet across to our loop. So yarn over the hook. I'm going to work right over my end, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into the next stitch and work a double crochet we have two stitches to go. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that last stitch, and work a double crochet. So now we're over to our chain eight loop, and you're going to just make sure that when you have this last loop, when it's pulled through, that it is twisted. You want to make sure that if it's not twisted and it's just in there take it turn it to the back and to the right just so it has that twist at the bottom which tightens up the back and pulls those pulls your work together we're just going to slip stitch into that loop now we're going to double crochet this is the start of your repeat here where you slip stitched in your chain eight loop just make sure that's twisted slip stitch and then you're going to work one double crochet in each of the double crochets between the loop so i'll show you one more time yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into the next stitch and work a double crochet we have two stitches to go yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that next double crochet and work a double crochet you should have a total of seven double crochet two four six and seven we're back over to our chain eight loop 
you're going to grab that last chain, look at it, if it's not twisted, just take that loop, you're going to turn it to the back and to the right. You're just twisting the bottom of that loop and that tightens up your stitches. Insert your hook into that loop and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull it through that stitch. So that was the beginning of the repeat. I'm sorry, the end of the repeat was when you did your double crochet. So repeat that across. Again, you're going to slip stitch. Make sure that last loop is twisted and you're going to work a slip stitch and then you're going to work one double crochet in each of the seven double crochet between those chain eight loops. You're going to grab that chain eight loop, look at it if it's not twisted, you're going to turn it to the back and twist it to the right and then you're going to slip stitch in that stitch and then you're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven double crochet. So repeat that across, work your last row, and I'll be back and we'll start the board. I'm over at the end of row 64 and this is what your last row should look like. We just double crocheted in each double crochet and slip stitched in that last chain 8 loop. So I'm just going to fasten off my pink. I'm going to grab my white and I'll be back and we'll get our border started. I'm back and we're going to start round one of our border and we're going to start in the top right hand corner of our afghan. So that's the top of the last row on the right hand side. We're just going to take and insert our hook into the top of that beginning chain three. Insert your hook. I'm going to grab my white. I'm going to leave about a three or four inch length and I'm just going to pull that white through that top of that chain and I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to leave this here, but I'm going to butt it right up against the top of the row and I'm just going to work my stitches right over it and that weaves in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and work a single crochet into the top of this beginning chain three where we pulled our new color through. So just insert right in that same beginning chain and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch right under the top two strands. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made a single crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in each of the next five double crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. We have one stitch remaining. Insert into that double crochet and work a single crochet. So now we're over to our slip stitch where our loop is. So we're just going to skip this slip stitch. So this is going to be the beginning of the repeat and we're going to work this across the top of the afghan. We're going to skip this slip stitch, insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. And what this does, it's pulling your work back together. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. And we're going to work a single crochet in each double crochet across to this next slip stitch in that loop. So insert into the next stitch. So basically you're doing seven single crochet across. There's seven double crochet and we're working one single crochet into the top of each one of those double crochet across. 
my blanket wants to pull down so it looks like I'm working sideways. I'm sorry about that. My yarn is catching. The blanket is falling. <laughs> Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. And that's the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat that across. You're going to skip the slip stitch in that next loop and you're going to work a single crochet in each of the seven double crochet in between the loops. You will skip the next slip stitch in that loop and work a single crochet in each of the next seven double crochet and you'll continue that across to the corner and I'll meet you at the top left hand corner. I'm over to the left hand corner so we worked around the first side of the afghan on the top of the afghan. So now we're getting ready to work our corner. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we're just going to turn our afghan so the side is now the top and we're going to work down the length. We're going to work two single crochet into this first row and stitch. So insert your hook right around the post of that last stitch. We're working right around the post. So just go underneath that stitch and right out to the back. Yarn over the hook, pull it back around that post. You have two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made a single crochet. The chain two forms our corner. We're going to insert our hook into that same row and stitch and work another single crochet. So we have two single crochet into our first row and stitch down the length. Now we're going to work one single crochet into this next row and stitch. So this is the start of the repeat. Insert your hook underneath that last stitch or this first row and stitch. Go right underneath the post and work a single crochet around the post of that stitch. We're going to work two single crochet around the post of the next row in that row end stitch. Insert underneath that post of that last stitch and work two single crochet. There's one and there's two. Insert around the post of the next row end stitch and work one single crochet. So basically what I'm doing, even though they're double crochet rows, I'm alternating two single crochet into the one row, one single crochet into the next row end stitch, two single crochet into the next row end stitch, and one single crochet into the next row end stitch. And what I'm doing is if you take a tape measure and you measure your stitches, oops, let me lay this down a minute, and you measure your stitches, you're getting about three stitches per inch. So I'm trying to get about the same gauge going down my end. So if you hold this tape measure up, you'll see we're getting just about three stitches per inch. It's just a little bit over an inch, just a hair, but it's close. So that's why we're only doing one in every other row. So I'll show you one more time. This will be your repeat. You're going to work two single crochet into the next row end stitch. Insert your hook underneath the post of that end stitch and work two single crochet. Insert your hook under the post of the next row end stitch and work one single crochet. That's all there is to it. Go ahead and repeat that down your length to the next corner. Again, you'll be working two single crochet into the next row and stitch, one single crochet into the next. And just repeat that to the corner and I'll be right back when I get to the corner. I just worked across my length down each row and stitch and now I'm to the last row. So I want to have a really nice corner. So what I'm going to do is you ended with one single crochet in that last row and stitch. We're just going to insert our hook and work a second single crochet into that last row and stitch. 
So you should have two single crochet in each of those last two row end stitches. So now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to turn our work so the bottom of the afghan is facing the top and we're just going to go ahead and work across the bottom of this foundation row. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the next double crochet. So let me zoom up just a little bit closer. So we worked into this row end stitch. Now we're going to find our next double crochet, which is here, and you're just going to follow it down to the chain. You're going to insert it into the chain at the base of that stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to find your next double crochet, follow it down to that base chain, insert your hook, and work a single crochet. Find your next double crochet, which is here. Just follow it down and you'll see your chain right here at the top of that base. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. So you're just going to repeat that across in each double crochet across the bottom of the afghan. Just find that stitch, follow it down to the base chain, and work a single crochet in each stitch across, and I will meet you at the next corner. I just finished working across the bottom of the foundation row, and we have one more side to go, and we'll be all the way around our afghan. So I'm over here. Let me zoom up a little bit more. We have our ending chain three here at the end where our corner is. So you're just going to go right into the top chain. So count up one, two, three, go into the top of that chain and work a single crochet. That's how you end this round on the foundation row. We're going to chain two, one, two. This will form our corner. And then we're going to turn our afghan so the side is facing the top. And then we're going to begin and working down our length the same way we did on the other side. We're going to start and we're going to work two single crochet around the post of this first row end stitch. Insert your hook underneath that post of that end stitch and work two single crochet. Insert your hook into the next row end stitch right underneath the post of that stitch and work one single crochet. So this is your repeat. Insert underneath the post of that next row end stitch and work two single crochet. Insert your hook under the post of that next row end stitch and work one single crochet. And that's the end of the repeat. So go ahead and work two single crochet into the next row end stitch, and then one single crochet into the next row end stitch. Repeat that across to the corner, and I will meet you at the corner. I'm back to the corner, and again, we ended with one single crochet into that last row end stitch. So I'm just going to insert my hook into that same row end stitch and work a second single crochet. And then we have two single crochet in each of the last two row end stitches around. We're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to insert our hook underneath the top two strands of this beginning single crochet. So insert under those top two strands and we're going to slip stitch to join. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. We're now ready to start round two. Round two is going to be our final round. We're just going to put a double crochet pico border around our afghan to just give it a little bit of a delicate border. We're going to start with a chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next single crochet and work a double crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to bring our hook from the top down into the front loop of the last double crochet we made and come right down through the top of that front loop 
and then you're going to go out through the top side of your stitch. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, and pull through all loops on your hook. It makes just a nice little delicate loop. I'll show you one more time and this will be the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over and double crochet into that next single crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next single crochet and work a double crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to take your hook from the top down right through the front loop of that last double crochet you made and then out through the top side of that double crochet. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook and we're going to double crochet into that next single crochet stitch. This is the start of the repeat. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook from the top down through the front loop of that last double crochet made and take it out through the side top, the top side of that double crochet. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that's your repeat and you can see how it makes that nice little delicate loop. So go ahead and repeat that across to your next corner. Stop at the chain two space and I'll meet you there. I worked across over to my next corner and you can see how it has that nice little delicate little loop on the end of the border. So now we're over to our corner chain two space and we're just going to work this repeat two times in the corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook and we're going to work two double crochet into this corner chain two space. There's one there's two and then we're going to chain three one two three take your hook I'm white on white now so I hope you can see this my light is glaring I'm filming at night take your hook and go from top to bottom down through that front loop of the last double crochet made and out through the top side of the stitch yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops so now we're going to do that again. Yarn over the hook and work two double crochet into that same corner chain two space. There's one. Insert into that same corner chain two space and work your second double crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook from top down through the front loop of that last double crochet made and out through the top side of the stitch yarn over and pull through all loops. We just made our corner. So now we're going to start the pattern all over again. You're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to chain three, insert from the top to the bottom down through that top loop and through the side of the stitch yarn over and pull through the stitch. So what you did on this side with your two double crochet, the chain three loop, you're just going to repeat that down the length. So go ahead and repeat that. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next stitch and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook from top to bottom down through that front loop and out through the top side of the stitch. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your repeat. So go ahead and repeat that down your length to the next corner, and I'll meet you there. I'm over to the next corner 
and when you finish your repeat with the two double crochet the chain three slip stitch you'll notice that we only have one single crochet before that next corner chain two so what I like to do is I like to always end with my two double crochet and my chain three slip stitch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work two double crochet into this last single crochet before the corner so yarn over the hook insert into that last single crochet and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same single crochet and work a second double crochet we're going to chain three one two three insert from top down in that front loop of that last double crochet made out through the top side yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook this way we're always ending with our pattern with this chain three slip stitch so what you're going to do now is you're just going to work the two double crochet the chain three slip stitch two times in the corner chain two space and then you're just going to repeat what you already done around the other two sides so it's like starting at the beginning of the round and starting over so let me do this corner yarn over the hook insert into that corner chain two space and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same corner chain two space and work a double crochet you're going to chain three insert your hook from top to bottom down through that front loop and out through the top side of the stitch yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook we need to do that one more time in the corner chain two space so we're always doing this twice yarn over the hook insert into that same corner chain two space and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same corner chain two space and work a double crochet you're going to chain three you're going to insert your hook from top to bottom down through the front loop of that last double crochet made and then out through the top side yarn over and pull through all three loops so we just worked around two sides of our afghan so now you click back on the video if you need help and you're just going to repeat around the other two sides exactly as we did when we started you'll work your two double crochet chain three slip stitch in the top of that stitch and when you get over to your corner chain two space you'll do that twice then you're going to work down the length and just it's probably easier if you just click back to the start of this round and repeat it around the other two sides I'll meet you at the end of round two our final round and show you how to join so i'm over at my third corner and i just realized i misspoke when i said to go back to the beginning of the video um, when you get to this third corner you'll only have one stitch remaining instead of two because of the way we went around the row end stitch in that foundation chain you actually lose a stitch on this opposite side here so what we're going to do is the same thing we did in the other corner we're going to go ahead and work two double crochet and then the chain three loop all in this last single crochet so we end with that two double crochet repeat that we're doing so yarn over the hook insert into that last single crochet and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same single crochet and work your second double crochet you're going to chain three insert your hook from top to bottom through the front loop and out through the top side yarn over and pull through all loops on hook that's how you end the third side and then you're going to do your corner of two double crochet chain three slip stitch and you're going to do that twice in the corner and then you're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern down your length and then you'll end with one single crochet again and you'll repeat this with the two double crochet chain three loop 
all in that last stitch and I'll be back and show you how to join and I'm so sorry I misspoke so this is how you do the third corner I'm over at the end of the fourth side of our border and I just stopped to show you I'm going to just work the last corner with you again we ended with the two double crochet chain three slip stitch loop and we have one single crochet remaining so we're going to go ahead and work two double crochet into that last single crochet there's one and there's two we're going to chain three, insert your hook from top to bottom down through that front loop and out through the side of the stitch, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we're going to do our corner where we're going to do two double crochet, chain three, make our loop and we're going to do that twice in the chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that corner chain two and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two, and work a second double crochet. Chain three, insert your hook from top to bottom through that front loop and out through the top side of the stitch, yarn over and through all three loops. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a double crochet. We're going to chain three, insert your hook from top to bottom through that front loop and out through the top side. Yarn over the hook, pull through all three loops, and your corner is made. We're back over to the beginning where we started round two. We're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three. One, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that chain, yarn over the hook and pull it through the chain and through the loop on your hook. You just slip stitched your afghan together. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. Our afghan is finished and I will be back and I'll have a better picture of it laying out with the whole afghan done. There's a little bit of it. You can see that wonderful border. I'll weave in my ends and I'll be right back. So the afghan is done. I have it laying on the floor with my little baby on it. So this is what the finished product should look like. Let me zoom up. Just a wonderful, wonderful pattern. You can see your little loops after they're weaved up. And that's it. Thank you everybody for stopping by my crochet channel and learning how to do this baby afghan today with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy making it and happy crocheting everyone.